y'all, it's Sherry. Happy Wellness Wednesday. So I come to you today from the Memory Garden here at First Baptist Church in Jasper. Isn't this beautiful? I thought that this would be a great place to talk about boundaries as self-care. So last week, if you remember, we talked about boundaries, like six differences between, between being selfish and self-care. So this week I wanted to talk about boundaries and self-care. So I picked this location because it is a boundary. You know, it's kind of got um, some different little trees around it. You know, like the ground is made out of brick. It's just got boundaries all over the place, but it's not completely closed in and it's beautiful. So I thought this was a great location to talk about boundaries. So today I'm gonna to try to make the, today's video a little bit shorter. So if we haven't met today, my name is Sherry. I'm a therapist that practices in Alabama. I do individual in-person sessions and telehealth. So if you wanna connect with me and you live in Alabama, just give me a private message. So today we're gonna to talk about what are boundaries and what I've noticed in the past 13 years as being a um, individual therapist. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to gain some insight about your personality and maybe some boundaries that you need. Um, I'm going to have you look at your boundaries for your specific personality type. I'm gonna give you some ideas to help you learn to say no. And then I'm also going to show you some worksheets to help you with boundaries and then even show you an app where you can get daily meditations to help you with boundaries. All right, so Boundaries are mental, physical, and physical, let's see, mental, physical, and emotional limits that we establish to protect ourselves from being manipulated, used, or violated by others. And so it kind of allows us to separate who we are and what we think and feel from the thoughts and feelings of others. So you can kind of see how boundaries really tie into self-care because all of us are different. So strengthening boundaries is work that I do with almost all of my therapy patients because most of their self-care is awful. You know, we talked about that last week. So most patients that I talk to are kind of mystified when I talk to them about what are their boundaries or what are boundaries that they need to strengthen. And so I put a link in the comments, I mean in the descriptions, it's uh, 16 personalities. And so you can go on there and figure out what your personality type is. There's 16 different Myers-Briggs personality tests, or personality types, excuse me. And so if you haven't taken this um, test in a while, go ahead and take it again because you may be different from the last time that you took it. So the people that I work with, um, all they know is that they're tired, they're mad, you know, they feel unappreciated and they're interested in change. So a good place to start is that Myers-Briggs personality test. And so if you know your four letters, because the Myers-Briggs has four letters, if you know your four letters, go to the next link in the description and it will give you a link for self-care tips for each of the 16 personality types. I was so excited when I found that. I had never seen that before. So when you look at the items for self-care or maybe boundaries, I invite you to choose one area to work on in the beginning because we don't want to get overwhelmed. So to set boundaries, you kind of have to learn to say no. And usually when I start talking about that, people that have trouble with boundaries are like, ah, because it's so hard. So what I invite you to do is to start with people that are paid to be nice to you. Like when you go out to eat, you know, um, a restaurant, people that maybe you've dealt with in the past and you know that they're not gonna freak out if you tell them no, those are the people to practice. You have to practice it, it's a skill just like anything else. But also I put a link in the description to 14 ways to say no, just to give you some ideas on how to start. And so something I wanted to be sure and mention, a lot of people, a lot of the patients that I work with, they struggle with the feelings of guilt that come when they say no. So just because you feel guilty doesn't mean that you are. And so the feelings are kind of the last thing to come online when you're doing those boundaries. So feelings aren't facts. They are important, but just because you feel guilty saying, saying no does not mean that you are guilty. 
So self-care and setting boundaries is your job. You know, we talked about this last week. Um, expecting other people to be mind readers is a recipe for disaster. Um, sometimes the people who benefited from you not having any boundaries get mad when you start having some. So if you are really interested in boundaries and you're really interested in change, you'll know that you're on the right track because people will start not being very happy with you because you're not behaving. So the uh, second to the last link in the, con the description of this video is boundary worksheets, just in case you need them. Um, boundary worksheets are good for like visual learners or like people who kind of like to write things out. So those are in there for you if you need them. And the last link in the description is for an app that is actually from this book. It's called The Language of Letting Go. And I know that this is backwards for my Facebook audience, but there's actually an app now that you can get that sends you this meditation every day. And so if you're really interested in self-care and boundaries, this is a great investment for you. The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beebe. So I hope this new, short Wellness Wednesday with all of these points, I hope that y'all really like that. Give me some feedback if you don't mind. Do you like this link? Do you like the links in the description? Do you need a therapist? Because if you do and you live in the state of Alabama, just hit me up. Y'all have a great Wellness Wednesday. See you next week.